Today's video is on functions of complex variables. See, in this chapter, there are so many important problems and before going deep into those, so we have to know the definitions. So first of all, we have to know what is an analytic function. See here, let the function f of z be derivable at every point z in the neighborhood of z0. Then f of z is said to be analytic at z0. So it's so simple. If f of z is derivable at each and every point of z in the neighborhood of z0, then we say that f of z is said to be analytic. So if we say that f of z is derivable at a point z0, then it should be derivable even in the neighborhood of this. Then we say that f of z is derivable at every point of z in the neighborhood of z0. See here, next one, what is an entire function or integral function? If f of z is analytic at every point on z on a complex plane, then f of z is said to be an entire function or integral function. See here, if f of z is analytic, analytic means it should be derivable at each and every point, at each and every point on the plane. Then we say that f of z is an entire function. If it's analytic at every point z on the complex plane, then we say that it is an entire function or integral function. And next coming to the CR equations. See here Cauchy-Riemann equations or CR equations. If f of z is equal to u plus iv is analytic in domain R, then u and v satisfies the equations. So which equations? dou u by dou x is equal to dou v by dou y and next dou u by dou y is equal to minus dou v by dou x. See here u x is equal to v y and u y is equal to see here u y is equal to minus v x. u x is equal to v y and u y is equal to minus v x. So these are CR equations and the above relations are known as the Cauchy's Riemann equations or CR equations. It is so simple. U and V. F of Z is equal to U plus IV. If we differentiate X with U with respect to X and next uh, V with respect to Y, both should be equal. UX should be equal to VY. And next minus VX is equal to UY. So these two equations are known as the CR equations. See here Cauchy-Riemann equation in Cartesian form. And next coming to the Cauchy-Riemann equations in polar form. See here f of z is equal to if it is in the form f of r into e power i theta. So r comma theta. Those are polar coordinates. See here u of r comma theta. See here this is u of r comma theta plus i times of v of r comma theta and f of z is derivable at a point z naught r naught e power i theta naught then dou u by dou r is equal to 1 by r times of dou v by dou theta see here u if we differentiate with respect to r which should be equal to 1 by r times of v if we differentiate with respect to theta if the both equations are equal then these are CR equations in polar form and V if we differentiate with R and this should be equal to minus 1 by R times of U with respect to theta. The above equations are known as CR equations in polar form. See here there is a slight difference here. So here if you see Ux is equal to Vy and Uy is equal to minus Vx. Here Ur is equal to 1 by R times of v theta and v r is equal to minus 1 by r times of u theta. So in this case see here r and theta extra there is it is multiplied by 1 by r times. So minus is also common. Next one coming to the harmonic function or Laplace equations. See here the function satisfying the Laplace equations is called harmonic function. See here what are Laplace equations so if we make a double derivative with respect to x if we make a function derivative with respect to x for twice and y for twice and if we add up we'll get zero then the function is said to be a harmonic function if it satisfies the laplace laplace equations then we say that the function f is a harmonic function so what are laplace equations 
So if f of z is equal to u plus i v is analytic in a domain D, then the Laplace equations are. See here, del square u is equal to dou square u by dou x square plus dou square u by dou y square is equal to 0. And here, del square v is equal to dou square v by dou x square plus dou square v by dou y square is equal to 0. So double derivative with respect to x plus with respect to y should be equal to 0. And these are Laplace Laplace equations. If the function satisfies these Laplace equations, then we say that the function is a harmonic function. See, there are so many problems based on this. And see, and the next one is conjugate harmonic function. So, in this chapter, we have to find the conjugate. So, what is a conjugate? See, if two harmonic functions u and v satisfies the CR equations, first of all, u and v. So, we have f of z. So, we have f of z is equal to u plus iv. So, if f of z satisfies the CR equations, what are the CR equations? ux is equal to vy and next uy is equal to minus vx. So, these are nothing but the CR equations. CR equations. So, if f of z satisfies the CR equations in a domain D and they are real and imaginary. See here U is real and V is imaginary. So this is real and this is imaginary. Parts of an analytic function in D then V is said to be the conjugate harmonic function of U in D and vice versa. See here then U is a conjugate is a conjugate function of V and V is said to be the conjugate function of U. See here U and V. See, u is a conjugate, conjugate function of v and v is a conjugate function of u. See, harmonic conjugate function. If two harmonic functions u and v satisfies the CR equations in a domain D, then the real and imaginary parts of an analytic function in domain D, then v is said to be the harmonic conjugate, harmonic function of u in D. See, in my next video, I am going to solve Solve the questions on analytic functions and next CR equations and entire function, Laplacian operator and the next one harmonic function and the next one how to find this conjugate, conjugate harmonic function. So if u is given, I will find out v. If v is given, I will find out u and those are the questions which I am going to upload very very soon in my next video. Please have a look at this. Before going into the problems, we have to check all the definitions. If you are thorough with the definitions, then it will be very very easy for you. And see here, analytic function, it is so simple. F of, F of z should be derivable at each and every point. Entire function. So, if F of z is analytic everywhere, then we say that the function is analytic. And CR equations are also simple. Ux is equal to Vy and Uy is equal to minus Vx. And these are of CR equations in normal form and the next one harmonic function. So if the function satisfies Laplace, Laplace equations, so the double derivative with respect to x plus the double derivative with respect to y should be equal to 0, then we say that it is a harmonic function. So the next one is conjugate harmonic function. So u is a conjugate to v and v is the conjugate to u. So, u is a conjugate to v and v is a conjugate to u if f of z, if f of z is analytic and if it satisfies the CR equations. So, these are all the definitions in the in this chapter that is the functions of the comp complex variables and soon I will be posting uploading all the problems related to these. Thank you so much for watching. If you really like this video, please pass it on to your friends and have a nice time. Thank you.